How to create a TikTok ads account step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a TikTok ads account and what are the benefits of using TikTok ads. So what exactly can you do with TikTok ads? Well, since TikTok has grown to be one of the largest social media platforms, it has become one of the platforms where if you want to grow your business, if you want more people to be able to view your business, you need to be active and you need to start marketing on TikTok. To do that, you do have to create a ad account or a business account, and we're going to break it down step by step. You can get started with building individual campaigns or individual ads. You can build ad campaign structures as well as create an ads manager account. So to do that, you're just going to head on over to the TikTok Business Center or just go on to the ads.tiktok section and you can go into ads and you can click on TikTok Ads Manager over here and click on Create Ad on the top right. It's going to lead you back to advertising on TikTok. So this is the TikTok Business Center. You can create a new account or you can use your pre-existing one. So click on Get Started over here to get started. And I'm just going to click on login with TikTok because I already have a TikTok account. Now, after that, I'm going to click on authorize. And once I click on authorize, a TikTok business account can now be created. Now, you do have to agree to the terms and conditions over here. So simply tick this off and you can subscribe to their emails as well. And then click on continue or confirm over here. Now it's creating a new TikTok business account for me. You can choose to use your pre-existing one as well, but I'm choosing to create a new one. Now, after that, you have to enter your business center name. Usually this is just going to be reflective of your business name. So let's say it's called Vivian. And then you can select your time zone, whichever time you want. Now, after that, you're going to add your profile image, which is going to be a logo. So whatever is your logo, you can just add that over here and click on create. So this name already exists, so I'm going to add a different name. So now that we've added our new name and we have created our account, we can get started with managing our account and creating campaigns. So in your TikTok Business Center or Ads account, on the left you have a toolbar. And on the top left, you will actually see your Business Center. Then you have a Ads Manager. And then you have a creative center. Now in your business center, you have users as well as assets, which include your shops, pixels, catalogs, audience, and more. Then you have your business settings. On the right side, you have a shortcut to create ads. Now you can get started by adding your team members over here, and you can get started by creating your advertiser account. So let's say I want to advertise a product. But before that, I do need to have added a product over here. So for that, I'm going to go into assets on the TikTok business center, and then I'm going, going to go into catalogs. So you guys can see I don't have any products over here. So I'm going to click on add catalog. And then over here, I can get started by adding my catalog name or product name. And I'm just going to click on create over here. Now, once you've created your catalog, you can click on add products. And I'm going to manually add. You can choose to fill your data. You can import a file. You can import from Google as well as do a pixel upload. I'm just going to click on next over here and I'm going to do a manual. So this is a sample product and you can add the link over here as well. And you can add app links as well. Now, keep in mind that your basic link section is going to be mandatory over here. So this is a new product. It's in stock and the price is $40. Now you're going to add your link over here. I'm just going to add a TikTok business link like this. And then I'm going to click on import over here. Now, before you import, you also have to make sure that you've added a image because without an image, your TikTok will not be, your TikTok product won't be added. So the image needs to be at least 500 by 500 pixels. I'm going to open this up and click on import over here and now our new product has been created so once your products have been created and once you've at least built your catalog you can get started with building your ads so now we're going to head on over back to our tiktok business center in our tiktok business center you're going to click on the top left and go into the ads manager once you go into the ads manager you're going to choose your business center the one that you just created 
And once you choose your business center, you'll be able to see you have your advertiser accounts. Now you can assign particular members to particular assets as well. Then you also have catalogs where you can browse and see all of your catalogs and all of your products. Then you have your shop section where you can assign this asset to a member and you can click on assign assets over here. From here, you can add particular ads for particular promotions of particular campaigns. Now, after that, you also have the partner section where you can build organizational relationships or you can add your business partners. After that, you have some assets which include your advertiser accounts, audiences, and as we previously went into catalogs and pixels. Now in your business settings, you can click on settings over here to manage your email verification as well as allowing your email domain list to be added. Now in your basic asset section, you can go on ahead and if you have a pre-existing Shopify store, you can go into pixels and click on add pixel and you can add your Google pixel or Shopify TikTok pixel link and you can add those over here as well. Now, if you're looking to go for, you know, view the stats in a particular product, you can just go into your particular catalog. In your catalog, you can open up the catalog and add more products to that. And if you go into your shop section, you can click on request access to TikTok shop partners if you're partnering with other businesses. And you can also just click on add a TikTok shop over here where you can choose your TikTok shops. And if you have a pre-existing TikTok shop, you can choose it from here. But if you want to create a new one, just click on the particular link and you will have your seller regions. TikTok has divided these seller regions and you can add your particular region like this and click on enter over here. From here, you can start building your TikTok account for you to be able to sell directly on TikTok. Now, this can be a bit of a tedious process and usually using Shopify can be a lot more convenient for a lot of people. However, building multiple different sales channels can be a really helpful way for you to be able to expand your horizons and get more customers into your business. Now, as you guys can see, we have opened up our TikTok business center and in our TikTok business center, if I just take a look at some of the basic features, we have our basic assets and we also have audiences, catalog shops and pixels. But the best part about using TikTok pixel is that you're going to be able to see your progress because when you're building your brand on TikTok and you're posting reels, you're posting TikToks, you're not going to get data or reviews back. And using the TikTok Business Center, not only can you schedule your content, add your products, and start promoting them, other than that, you also have the added benefit of being able to get the analytics that you require. Plus, you also have your activity log where if you have managers or if you have people managing your social media presences, then you're going to be able to see what kind of work that they are doing. That makes sure that your account is always safe and secure and all of the content that you're planning to you know, release is released on time. Even if you're someone that is only overviewing their TikTok account and you have someone else managing it. Plus, you can also create your advertiser account and get started with building ads on TikTok. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, anything, then leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and check out our other videos on integrations of Google, Shopify, and much more so you can get started with building your business online. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.